Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will take up a problem which has come in chemical engineering paper, a chemical engineering thermodynamics paper 2, May 18 of Mumbai University. The problem is 5B. The problem is on your screen and this is quite an interesting problem for 10 marks. For a binary system of component A and B, the activity coefficient are given by ln gamma A is equal to 0.9761 xb square and the vapor pressures are given does the system form an azeotrope at 71.1 degrees celsius if so what is the composition if it forms an azeotrope so let's have a look at it now the first thing that we need to realize here is that when the liquid solutions are real that is they are non-ideal right when they are non-ideal then an azeotrope is formed then it there is a likelihood of an azeotrope being formed okay so for any azeotropic mixture the simplest model that we can take is the modified Raoult's law Okay, where the modified Raoult's law is Y1 P, that is, we are assuming that the gas phase is ideal and the liquid phase is non ideal. So, X1 gamma 1, where gamma is the activity coefficient into P1 S, that is, the saturated vapor pressure of component 1. So, this is the simplest model we can use. to model a non-ideal liquid system okay now this is the model we'll be taking up where here the components are of course a and b but uh, i choose to write one as a and two as b that makes it simpler to you know write it down and work on it so what do we have here as i have already expressed we have y1 is equal to x1 gamma 1 p1 s and gamma 1 p1 s is equal to gamma 2 p2 s so at azeotrope you have to realize one thing that is at azeotrope whenever an azeotrope is formed y1 is equal to x1 therefore we have gamma 1 p1 s is equal to gamma 2 p2 s just by applying this rule to both component 1 and 2 we get this equation and therefore we can do the man mathematical manipulations gamma 1 by gamma 2 is equal to p2s by p1s and uh, the model that we have is the single parameter model okay so it's a single parameter margules model so what we do is we write it as ln gamma a or ln gamma 1 is equal to 0 0.9761 so we write this as a this 9761 is 0.9761 is a constant a and x2 square because b is 2 here. Therefore, we have e is equal to a x1 minus x2 minus x1 or x2 square minus x1 square is equal to p2 s by p1 s. Now, taking the log on both the sides, we get this and uh, finally, we get this expression after rearranging all the terms now we know that x1 will be greater than 0 well it cannot be equal to 0 because you cannot it's not a pure it's a mixture rather we are talking about mixture so x1 can never be 0 so if x1 is greater than 0 then we have a as greater than ln p2s by p1s now for this particular solution p1s is 0.8289 and p2s is 0.7566. Now, how do we calculate P1S and P2S? 7321 minus 2866.6 divided by 71.1 plus 
217.88. So this is what we get now. We take shift e raised to x, answer 0.8289. So here we have 0.8289. There was just a simple error, I guess, in uh, punching down the values. And similarly, we get P2S. Now we take P2S by P1S and we take the log of it and we get point minus 0 0.091. Now this is obviously lesser than 0 0.9761. So we can say with confidence that yes, an azeotrope is formed. Now, if A and B form an azeotrope, what will be X1? It's fairly simple here. The X1 can be had from this expression. In this expression, you have to just put the value of A and the value of ln P2 S by P1 S by 2. So let's do that. 1 minus fraction 1 divided by A that is 0 0.9761 multiplied by delete multiplied by ln of start the fraction close the bracket and enter the fractions. So let's enter the top value of the fraction. The top value of the fraction is 0 0.979 uh, oh, this is, yeah, 0.7566 and the lower value is 0.8289, right? So, this is it and divided by 2. So, we get 0.5467. So, I have noted it down here, it's 0.5466. So as you can see for 10 marks, this is a fairly simple problem if you know what is the fundamental behind it, right? And I have shown you what is a very systematic method of calculating the concentration of the azeotropic mixture. That's number one. And number two is also to find out whether the liquid mixture is an azeotrope or not by a Margul single parameter model. Now, these problems are fairly common in CET two paper or chemical engineering thermodynamics two paper or the paper where you have solution thermodynamics. These problems are fairly common and you should have no trouble in getting your full tear marks by following this method that I have shown. So that will be all guys today. It was a very hectic day for me. So I could only make one lecture today, but still I would request you do critique my lectures. And yes, more important, please subscribe. That is very important to me. My subscription base now is only 603. Thankfully, it is growing, but it needs to grow to at least 1000 before this project becomes viable. So what is the best thing you can do is subscribe my videos, subscribe my channel, and please send it to students who are desirous of learning chemical engineering thermodynamics and please ask them also to subscribe it. Okay guys, that will be all. Have a good day. Bye.